What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The Podfather Nate here from the Journey into Comics podcast, the flagship show of the Journey into Comics network. I just want to make sure you guys know you can tune in every single Monday for a brand new episode of our show, where if it's comic book related, we've got you covered. The following is a Journey into Comics network production. I'm a dude who likes brews. It's time for Brews with Dudes. Ah, juicy. Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome to another special edition of Brews with Dudes. I'm your host, Nick Maxson, sitting here with Austin Hill once again. How are you doing, Austin? I'm doing pretty awesome. Great. And Casey Taylor, how are you? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Awesome. We're, uh, we're doing a little bit of pre-gaming for our BrewLink Brewing Company Tap Takeover down here at the North End Pub. Uh, so we're going to smash, what do we got here, five different brews? Five different beers. Cool. Ooh. And we're starting with, which we're one? We're starting with the Orange Creamsicle Milkshake. IPA. Good God. Oh. There's a couple of my trigger words right there. I think what? I just, I think my co- tongue just came. Oh, wow. Uh. That's, that's something. Okay, let's, uh, let's dive on it. Mmm. It's crazy good. That isn't, that tastes like a creamsicle. Yeah, that's yeah. a creamsicle. That is exactly IPA. what it is. IPA. I Can know. You? It's so tasty. And it's like somebody melted a creamsicle on my tongue and then threw a bunch of hops in my mouth. Yeah. No, it's absolutely awesome. I always like that how smooth it is. Yeah. Um, it kind of reminded me we drank the blueberry fruit from 450. Yeah. The creaminess we wanted in that beer. Yes. This is what this, you know, yeah. like this the, is the creaminess of this beer is what I wanted for that beer. Yeah. It's very, um, it's very clear for being as creamy as it is. It's. Mm-hmm. It's not very it, hazy. It has a solid orange hue to it that really gives you that visual aid too with the. Because yeah, you almost see through the actual beer when it's in a glass. Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't look the way it's going to taste. It's from the haziness. But I do like the cleanness. And like I said, it's so smooth. <sighs> mm. I could I could drink those all night. And there's a good chance that I will. Oh, yes, very good we chance. Actually, yeah, bad news for people. I believe I was told that we have the last bit of it on draft for the foreseeable future from anyone. Oh, wow. It's very sad. So if you're not down here, you're missing out. Because I'm you're telling you, I'm I'm going to be drinking a lot of it tonight. So. I've already had a pint of it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But all right, well, new record. We just slammed through. We just slammed through that beer in under three minutes. Um, it was that good, guys. This next it was one so good. is the Pineapple Cosmic Jacuzzi IPA. Unfortunately, uh, Casey's going to have to sit this one out because he's allergic to pineapple. Right. Oh, right. I was about to grab a cup and pour him one. but no, no, this dog, You guys, I'm yeah. just going to sit here and look at other beers. Well, I guess he's we're just going to have to just... No, 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 no. Let's not get wild. We'll, we'll drink the rest of it afterwards. <laughs> we gotta keep, we're keeping this thing... Uh, what's the word? Sissant. We're keeping it uh, uh, quick to draw. To draw. We're we're not getting wasted two beers in on this one. No, I, I'm trying not to get wasted before 8 p.m. two days in a row. So, well, cheers to that. Yep, here we go. Mmm, that pineapple. Mmm, it's really strong. It's it's strong in the sense of that it's actual like clean fruity, not that yeah. artificial pineapple. Yeah. You got that clean natural fruit it taste on it. Delicious. This one's a little hazier. It's a little harder to see through. Yeah, um, it's actually taste. It actually tastes refreshing and cold. Like it's got that crispness. Refreshing is the word. I yeah. think that, that's a good word to describe it. Funny little tidbit on the can here. Did not know this. Okay. <clears throat> Pineapples were such a status symbol in the 18th century in England that you could rent one for the evening to take to a party with you. What? People were just literally I've heard walking of that around before, parties. Where, where you'd actually just it, have yeah. a pineapple just on your arm. Pineapple. Look at my pineapple. Dude, this is how, you, how well I'm never, doing in You can mind. actually yeah. see it in some 18th century art where you see people, where they do these murals of parties, you'll see people with pineapples under oh, their arm. Gold chain, uh-huh. diamond necklaces now, drive cars back in the day. You were a single pineapple. pineapple. 
Right. You were the you shit, were motherfucker. Yeah. K- Casey's strolling around. You know how I'm late like, tonight? I'm allergic yeah. to this shit. Yeah. But I, I, I want you to know so bad. <laughs> like Back in the 18th you- century, I had my fucking wig up, powdered face, and a pineapple, and you knew I was getting yeah. late. Yeah. They just yeah. saw some dudes like, does that dude have two pineapples? The goddamn oh, nerve of that guy. What? A, he's such an asshole. Man, where'd she get those tits? Oh fuck, those are pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> so random. That is hilarious. This, this can is pretty cool. Yeah, that's something about do a pretty good job with the cans. I think they have some pretty cool cans, pictures. We got some stickers tonight. We got a little glassware for everybody. Mm-hmm. But they're another brewery that has really cool cans, which uh, we had talked on our previous founders one, some of the uh, little boldness with the names of beers and also the signage on the outside. Right. Brewling's one of the few that kind of stays in the gray. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We talked about that. Oh, no, we got one coming up that's kind of bold with the name of it, considering uh, the type of beer it is. They at least go double O. Are we doing that next? Mm, Let's let's do ivory. Let's see the ivory next. Let's wait on that one. But they don't say double O. They're uh, cookies. Yeah. They're milk cookies or they said something like that. We had talked about 450 previously. The hazy potter. They're hazy potter with. Old Super Nugget Bros were bold. We were talking on a podcast. They are, it's, they it's are tiptoeing bold. across the yeah. ice. Like, they look awesome. They look uh, great, and they sell for that exact reason. Like even if like, I didn't, even if I wouldn't have particularly liked the Super Nugget Bros, I'm a Nintendo kid. Like, dude, yeah, I had to get it. Like the label and everything. Goes, I had to get it. Fuck, I gotta buy that Mario beer. The I guy, might not even open it. Just put it on the shelf. Dude behind me in the 450 line when I came down for the 420 release came there specifically to get Nugget Bros. And he was, it's yeah. just to have and keep the sticker and put it on. Yep. The only reason he was there. Because some of them are, like, so close. It's like, guys, are you checking the mail? Because I feel like you've got four or five cease and desist letters in the mail. <laughs> You're not that you haven't bothered to read Yeah, that's at a P.O. box. Uh, They're still cool. I'll be putting them on my keg rater all day. Yeah. Day. Yes, I will be. Yes, I will be. All right. So we are going on to the Ivory Stout, which is, which is interesting. Um, it's a white stout. So it's not dark like you would expect in a stout. It's it's clear. It's, it's clear. It looks it looks like an IPA. Oh, it, it's got it a haziness to it. Chocolatey. I know that's what I always. I smell the chocolate. It, it, it smells like coffee. It mm-hmm. would. It looks like it'd be as dark as the Nutter Cup, and it's yeah. the exact opposite. Yeah, but it is. And it, it smells it, chocolatey. It definitely it tastes, tastes like, like a coffee. Chocolate coffee stout. Do you know which award they won? But for it's this? so. I don't know, but they did have a. I did notice that they had a couple trophies. We're at the brewery, and they for sure had some medals and stuff. I, yeah. I think it was the ivory stout. Yeah, so yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the white stout uh, category. They won uh, an award is, with it. This is and phenomenal. It oh yeah, award this is winning. really good. This is the beer of all the beers that we're trying tonight. Some of the beers are if you're into this flavor, you'll like. If you're not, you yeah. won't. Type deal. The ivory stout's the one beer of the night that if you don't like it, I don't know what's wrong. with Right. It. They they have. Um, I, I, I guess, guess their shtick is just weird beers. That one milkshake tastes like a dreamsicle. The pineapple IPA tastes like pineapple. They've got cookie beers. They've got the, the Nutter Cup tastes like a Reese's. Well, the know? other night I brought down the uh, salted caramel brown ale, oh my which God. we don't have here. I had to grab it in a growler. And that wow. thing tasted exactly how you think. And the thing that I like, I really like about their beers is the balance. That yeah. when you taste it, anytime they do combinations – you get a little bit of everything, and there always seems to be a good aftertaste. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I uh, was not actually able to make it down th- for their Quantum Flux special release today. We, again, we all drank way too much yeah, last way too night. Much last <laughs> we night. totally forgot. I, I, don't, I, I think I left Nick's at like 2.30 in the morning. And yeah, it was troublesome. I blacked out for a little bit. I, I got home. I don't I'm remember like, wrestling. What an idiot. Why didn't I call an Uber? Yeah, I woke up, and I had a, I, I skinned my elbow, and I was like, how did that happen? And Austin's like, you know how it happened, Nick. We wrestled. I'm like, oh, my God. Every time. Every time I get so drunk, I can't remember. We end up wrestling in the kitchen. No, we actually wrestled in your office. That's why it was a mess this morning. Oh, Jess blamed that on Tom. <laughs> Don't listen to this podcast. Yeah. 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 Oops. Oops. <laughs> but, no, we, uh, we, we kind of half-wrecked that room. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. That is hilarious. <laughs> We're so dumb. Ugh. I went down to... Uh, so you I wrestled think? me for good reason, but I'll keep that uh, off the podcast. Okay. Um, 
I went and hung out with my with my old buddy Cody last night. He wanted to go get a couple beers, and we went down to People's. And I'm gonna say it: they had a beer I liked, not one that I was like, "That's okay," but I drank it and fucking loved it. It was, it was so good. You have you had the Space Cowboy, Casey? Yeah, yeah. It was a blood orange Space Cowboy, nine percent. I could drink it all day, and then we walk were out. Yeah, yeah. We drank like three. Or, <laughs> we drank like three of them. And it's then, kind of interesting that people are doing the blood orange more because we had the dogfish. It's uh, a summer thing. Yeah, it's a summer thing. People are coming out. But it's out so those. good. It's yeah. good anytime. But yeah. But it, but it's great for that. Like, if anybody listening has not had Space Cowboy, Space Cowboy is kind of an ass kicker IPA. And this is it, not. And this it tastes well. It delicious, is, but, but it's, it it's heavy and it's hard to drink on a warm day. But this, we're sitting outside and. 75 plus degree weather with some sunshine on us just slamming them. It was probably the strongest beer that didn't taste strong. It tasted like a 5 5 percent beer. Yeah. It, it, it had a low was IBU. No bite. There was no bite at all, but it was 9%. It's and, nice to see him do some of that stuff cuz I think they've gotten pretty bland over yeah. the last yeah, few they need years. To do some stuff like that. So I think I wonder if they've started paying attention to some of these other breweries and getting a little bit more unique in what people want to go find like Brewlink here where we're getting you know five completely different beers that are oh, kind of yeah. off the wall and people start getting away from the standard this is our IPA. This is the pale. That's out. right. Nick and I hit on the IPA subject a little bit on a previous episode where we were talking about how we're getting bored with them because it's like okay Unless this is an ipa like a milkshake or, or a special kind of ipa but just your, or, your or typical ipa you're, you're just straight up straightforward ipa they're all they're all kind of the same they you all just kind of like have this okay i got a mouthful of hops and it's kind of heavy so i'm gonna get drunk on it if i keep drinking it I just, okay i like the new england category that's kind of new me too newer to me at least yeah. but it's nice to see that more are, and, and it's uh, actually been recognized as a separate category of beer instead of just an yeah, ipa and like the big competitions that they do it used to not be a thing it just used to be all you know all IPAs. inclusive if it said ipa it was all in the section and now it's, it's got I its think own west coast category has its own category now like west coast ipas and now it's it's either Northeast or New England. I think I've heard people say both, it's but a, it's the same thing. It, every, most people call it New England because it was the original one was in the New England area, which is the Northeast. Northeast. Yeah, so it, it, it's nice because I think, like for me, I was probably your atypical person that when I just heard IPA in my mind, like I got in early on like some Sierra Nevada and that stuff, and it kind of turned me off. Yeah, I don't and like now, Sierra Nevada beer, and now I've gotten a better taste. Uh, for I've some had. Of the, a, some of the different IPAs that they're actually doing. But I agree, when you just put out the standard boom in your mouth with the hops, yeah. it just depends on the aftertaste, that some people that are beer drinkers that would want to try something IPA have already been turned off from it. But now that when you have some different categories, like when I have people try like the Starburst or the 420 juice from mm-hmm. 450 Neuro, it's like it's the first time tasting a New England IPA, it totally opened their minds that not every IPA is going to taste like flowers, yeah. because that's one of the well, things I've really bitter. noticed. I think that I think a lot of people. When I first started drinking IPAs, it was like bitter. it was flowery. Like you got a certain floral taste to it because of the hops, because they have a generally like flowery taste to them. When you're first like getting into the whole style of beer, and it puts a lot of people off, and that's what a lot of people think of with IPAs. They're like, oh, it tastes like flowers. I don't want to think I'm drinking a bouquet. I don't mind. It's a beautiful bouquet. I'm going to return to Earth one day, you know. I, not, not first testing this little bouquet of peanut butter about ready to get down yeah, on. Yeah, this, 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 there ain't nothing flowery cup. about no, this. No, And if you like peanut butter, this Holy beer. Shit. So this is, is a porter. This is a peanut butter porter called Nutter Cup. Which, it makes me think more of Nutter Buddies than it does sure, like a Reese's. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. But, you, you know, it's peanut butter. Yeah. It's just so peanut buttery. So. But which I love Nutter Butters, like, to know. Yeah. Oh, this is this is dark as fuck. Yeah, um, Nutter let's, Butters let's get the in. shit. One of my favorite blizzards from Dairy Queen was yeah. a Nutter, Nutter Butter mm. Blizzard. It's so good. It really, like, the, the great thing about pouring this beer on draft that the customer doesn't get is, I mean, I guess... When you sit down and drink it, you get the aroma and smell. But when you're back behind the bar, dude, that's that all cup, you smell, man. Like, mm. You just It is peanut butter, and it's so hard to not just pour yourself a glass. Tonight, <laughs> I'm probably just going to do that. I'm just going to probably, someone's going right. to order water. I'm going to drink theirs, then give them one. <laughs> They're like, so are you going to give me my beer or not? Like, no, oh, that, that was your... mine. I drank that <laughs> No, you're just one. back behind the bar tipping yeah. it up just with your finger out. Hold yeah. on. You, you mm. asked for one, and it made me go, 
That is what I want. Yes, that yours is what is I want. Deck. Yeah. Yours is in my you're, left you're hand on deck. waiting. Yeah. This keep, one is from keep swinging, warming up for that pitch because it's coming, <laughs> but you're not at, I'm at plate. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, this. I, I tell people this is my favorite beer. It's, it's consistently one of my favorite things to drink, especially on draft. Because the first 20 times I drank it was in a can, and then we went down, Casey and I went down to the brewery a couple weeks ago, had it on draft, and it was amazing. And then very shortly oh, yeah, after, it's so much better on draft. Casey got it on draft down here, and holy shit, it's just so good. Well, speaking of that, too, about the can that's nice, is Brewlink is one of the few breweries that they actually are pretty price, price, like they're trying to win you over. I mean, a can, we can actually sell a can for four bucks. And which still is make money. Of. Yes. Yeah. You know, like, you know, their, their pricing on it makes it very affordable to drinkers. Uh, I think $5 is always kind of normal. But when you get a four dollar can of that, it's insane. And it it is oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like bad. normally you're looking at paying four dollars for something that just kind of, eh, but it's it's a beer and you feel like a beer. Yeah. But yeah, when you think of course, when like, you can go and get a Brewlink beer for four bucks, you're like, oh shit, I can treat myself. Damn. Yeah, our cans are four bucks, so it's like you can either get a Bud Light, Bud, whatever for three bucks, but you can get yeah. a, a Brewlink can for four. Yeah, which yeah. is nuts. A, a Especially for the quality, yeah. better beer for just a dollar more. And yeah, I mean, 450's got great beers, but they the thing is, is is they they hop it so hard and they use expensive hops. Yeah, I mean they have to. So charge they what have they charge. to. They're not. I don't think they're gouging people. No. They just spend money to make their beers taste Absol- the way that they taste. Yeah, absolutely. But it's nice to see a place like Brewlink that can give you flavor like that. But it's not going to be seven dollars a pint. Yeah, you know that's that's why I really think it's nice about Brewlink. And even if you go down, it's. Not exactly what you think is a brewery, you know, like to some of the other ones. It's kind of like a, it's it's tiny. Yeah, it's very it's a small. tiny little. Well, spot. that's that's not their brewery themselves. That's their tap house. You right. go we in and the, then, or did you actually go to the brewery I've itself? Gone, yeah, the brewery itself. It's in a distributing center, but I'm saying a lot of times when you go to these breweries, they have the on-premise brewery. Yeah, and this yeah, where places. you're seeing the barrels and everything. Yes, and there's is there's is up the road. Yeah, like, it's, it's close. Down the road, but yes, but... it is just a little tap room. But it's cool. They got a foosball table. They have oh yeah, cozy little display. area. Yeah, yeah. got some couches to to relax on. Oh, or yeah. you can go set up by the bar. They got, they got a, 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 a coffee table that's got a bunch of games under it. Mm, that was a good pop. Mm. So a couple, uh, yeah, a couple weeks ago we were down there. It might have been two months. It's hard telling. That's still a couple eight weeks. Anyway. Um, and a they had eight a weeks. double O, which was it was an Oreo beer. Yeah, and it was it was pretty good. It was pretty. Uh, we were big fans of it. We, well, today we're drinking a mint, uh, mint double, double o. o. So it's a mint chocolate chip cookie beer. Which I do want to give them a shout out because they did put two cases back for us. This was a specialty release, and yeah. most specialty releases you've got to go down, ta- go wherever, stand in line, be there, be present. Yep. And that's the only time you ever get it is at the release. I'm, I'm excited about this because we've normally been able to get down and get the releases because it's they're they're easy to get to releases because they do it like a Saturday at they noon. do Saturday mornings. And well, it's, I think it was. Maybe St. Patrick's Day? No, it was we were in Mania. Was before. It was April like eighth. I was in WrestleMania. No, it was before you guys, then because we got the, the U cereal on No, that was St. Patrick's Day. That was St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day but the saying, the double O was before that. I want no, to say one, it was I'm sorry. I'm talking, talking about, about the mint one. We're talking about this. We're talking yes, about the mint. Okay, the mint, the mint one, one the was, was April. on April eighth. It okay. was during I for sure was in Re- I went to WrestleMania. You guys I think had a show or something to go to, but like I exhaust, I went to like probably ten people trying to get them to go down there, and it seemed like it was a bad weekend for everyone. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we, we, definitely we, we didn't were make it. doing something else. I can't remember, but it was just we. I was trying to get people to go, Holy and they're like, shit. "I don't want to do that." That smells minty. Yes, if you like mint chocolate chip, anything, anything, this beer God, just. I absolutely hope this tastes like it. I'm drinking right, some melted milk chocolate chip ice it, cream it with is. cookies. I've had it. I'm not gonna lie. Aww. I'm not gonna lie. That's okay. Aww. That's okay. What that is, the fuck? That is beyond what I wanted. It's like a Girl Scout cookie. That's exactly it. Like a, that is a fucking is a grasshopper yeah. right there. So if oh you're into God. that, there are some people, and I, I was talking to Rory and them, and, uh, you know, there's some people who are just out. You know, if, if you don't yeah. like the mention and it's not your thing, this is not going to be your thing. But if it is your thing. Then it is. If you like mint chocolate, 
You're gonna like thank yourself beer. for putting Me this neither. in your mouth. It doesn't, I can't believe it's it doesn't beer. taste alcoholic. It just tastes like like you. This is almost like, a, like one of those. Uh, yeah, like I said, a grasshopper mar- martini or something, but it's beer, so it's not that like sharpness at the end with the vodka. That's just the can on this one is crazy cool. Yeah, it's a bunch of uh, milk chocolate cookies dancing around. Yeah, it's mint leaves. leaves with beer parting with Oreos with beer. So it's a mint leaf Oreo beer party. So I that's about how I'd explain it in my mouth. That's so the can pretty it's much. A, yeah, nails it. It's a mint and cookie party in my mouth, and it's I fantastic. am taking it all in. Me too. I don't know if I could drink them all night. I could probably get through a can or two. I could probably easily get two of these in, drink some something else, and go, man, I want one more, <laughs> and just grab me another one of yeah, those. Are they crushable? No, but it's one or if you're sitting down and you want to have one or two beers, this is a winner yeah. all day. Oh yeah. Well, well, if you want put to... me up to the task, I'll crush it. And you said you got two cases of these? I do. Damn. Not after tonight. No. See, that's no. what sucks is there's a very limited amount of these. There's a very limited amount of the creamsicle. But that's the point of going to tap takeovers. I'm probably I mean, gonna, I'm gonna literally the point. Is I'm to gonna, get you, some yeah, of you're only you go to the tap it, takeover right. to get this. Or, and if you're not going to the tap takeover, you have to make the special time you know to what? go to the limited release that's one day only. 100% we're the only people in Lafayette drinking this right now. Yeah, and, and I, we're even luckier because um, I managed to get, uh, I got my shift covered for tomorrow. So I'm going to be able to come down here tomorrow for the Iron Maiden, the Iron Maiden pinball release oh, party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I just, guess what? I just put up some over, serious numbers we're gonna on that fucking, game. We're going to polish it off tomorrow. So Yeah, people did not know this. Pinball and craft beer go hand in hand. Oh, I did yeah. not know this, but they absolutely go hand because in hand. Because yeah. craft beer is one of those beers that you just kind of lightly drink on here and there. And what do you do when you're playing pinball? You don't sit there and slam a beer. You, you just play, and then you wait, and then you, you, you sip on your beer. And you sip on down. your beer while you and play and wait. So it goes perfect. Because who really wants to sit there and talk to your friends? Fuck I don't. my friends. Sometimes all... I'm sick of talking to my friends. I'm like, can we just play a game or something? And well, especially fucking... when Austin Hill kicks your ass on a pinball machine <laughs> that you felt good about. Uh, I don't want to talk to that motherfucker for a while. <laughs> no, he, he pissed me Thursday. off earlier, yeah. too. Well, I just did that to Nick he just did earlier, it to too, on Iron Maiden. So. And then... I mean, I got a little back in the end for Fish Tales, which that's my game. Yeah. But uh, he fucked me on Iron Maiden. Dude. A full fucking. I've been. Uh, Fish Tales is my new favorite. Uh, no, like, I got you Iron on Maiden. Prospector first. Iron Maiden because oh, it's yeah, new. The old school game. That's right. That's right. What a dick. I do like I do like but the it old did come games. back in Iron Maiden too, <laughs> and that's what I just uh, put a beating on Nick with. I mean, <clears throat> it's my first game of the night. I didn't get a chance to warm up. That's what I'm. That was my with. first game of the night. Anyway, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna finish these beers. Probably slam a couple more. Uh, thanks for coming, Austin. Thanks for having me again, Casey. Thanks for being on the show, and thanks for hosting these things this is and thank you for introducing me to brew link because it was awesome yeah i enjoy going down there and if anyone ever gets a chance try you some brew link beer it's around it's it's not in indianapolis it's a little west of indianapolis what is it uh plainfield 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 yes so if you're in the plainfield indianapolis area go check out brew link they got tons of really awesome and if you're in the uh, lafayette area there's a few liquor stores that actually carry it yeah well if you're in if, if you're in lafayette and you need to pick up some beer to go you can definitely probably find some Brew Link if you hit the right spot. But if you're coming to hang out in Lafayette, you need to come to the North End Pub and play one of the 10 pinball machines. And they got tons of really fucking awesome beer. Um, we keep we keep just building the lineup. We just added uh, some Saga Talk beers. We got the Blueberry Maple Stout, which is pancake. Oh, it's so liquid good. Liquid pancakes. It, it tastes like you're drinking a blueberry pancake. And that Neapolitan Stout, which is exactly what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Exactly what it sounds like. I think Casey so. here is going to have to get a bigger shelf for all the bottles up on the wall. We've already talked about it. <laughs> yeah. So the Brew Link has those, but I got an art person that does a pretty good job. But that's that's going to get up there pretty soon. It's going to start doing the cool artwork on the chalkboards. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next time on Brews with Dudes. Yee, yee, yee.